Hi there everyone, welcome to another Auras Wi-Fi battle. This is a battle I had the other day uh, against a person on my stream, on Twitch, and it was pretty fun. Both using the same megas as you can see. And uh, yep, I expected him to lead off with Galvantula, so I decided to lead off with my Donphan instead. Out comes Donphan, and here I figure he's probably just going to go for the sticky web, so I'll go straight for the earthquake. And that is the case. So I got that sticky web, but I don't care too much about that. And now that this thing is down to one or a couple of HP, I should be able to kill it with a rapid spin, getting rid of that sticky web as well. Bug Buzz isn't able to do much to me. Do I resist it? No, I don't resist it, but I do have the assault vest, so it doesn't do diddly squat. So out comes this thing, and I figure it's probably going to spore me and then kill me. So I just go for the Ice Shard, hoping to do a fair bit of damage. But surprise, surprise, it goes straight for the Muck Punch. Which doesn't do enough damage to two-hit KO, even with that Life Orb. While my uh, Ice Shard is able to two-hit KO it. So down goes the Breloom. And yeah, since my HP is so low, he decides to switch in his Calamanario, also known as Malma. Now I don't want this thing to set up superpowers and become super strong, so I'm going to switch into my Fighting Sponge, and Grass Sponge, Cypher. Superpower doesn't do uh, anything to him, and I should be able to kill it with one Bug Buzz, even with a defense boost. Uh, not Bug Buzz, sorry, Bug Bite. So that thing is dropped like a sack, and Cypher's just hanging there. Now I know Cypher should be able to take any hit from a Sylphion, even Hyper Voice, so I figure here will be a good opportunity to Sword Dance. I don't think, uh, I don't think an unboosted Aerial Ace will kill it, but now I've got that Sword Dance up, maybe I will. The Hyper Voice did do a hell of a lot of damage to. Cypher, good thing he's holding e Violite, reducing that damage. But uh, yeah, down goes the Sylphion. And now I know this thing is probably going to want to go for Aqua, Jun uh, Aqua Jet and kill me, so I'll go for Quick Attack and get off as much damage as I can. Doesn't do as much as I'd have liked, but anyway, that's the end of Cypher. So here, I've still got Galvantula at full HP. Even if uh, he hits me with Aqua Jet, I should be able to take it. Which I very easily do, and I let loose uh, Thor's Wrath. And uh, down goes the Easter Bunny. So down that goes, and uh, in comes the Gallade. I think this is his last Pokemon, so I'm gonna wanna... Yeah, if this thing is anything like my Gallade and it starts setting up, I'm gonna be pretty buggered. So, I'm gonna need to cripple this thing. So I go straight for the Thunder Wave. Now I know all my other Pokemon will outspeed it, even if it does try and set up, I should be able to outspeed and kill. And it does go straight for the close combat, which is surprising to me. That is a very good attack to have on Gallade, it, does, it is very powerful, but I prefer my set. Down goes Galvantula, so I switch in my Gallade to show him my set. I know I'll outspeed due to the paralyzation, and uh, I go for the bulk up. So even if he went for his strongest attack, it would, wouldn't would do that much damage to me. But lucky for me, he gets paralyzed. So none of my moves are that very effective against it, but I go for Psycho Cut, and that hits him right down. See, with my, uh, with my defense boost there, I have quite the defense. And I'm able to take that very well. And I show him that I have Drain Punch to show that uh, there was nothing his galley could ever do to me. And that's that guy defeated. That was a good battle. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.